What's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. And in this video, I'm going to try to open some mystery nets that I recently made and they're on my fishing area. So I'm just going to see if I get any cool prizes or not. So let's get started. And also, by the way, my friend's book is full right now. It's 247 or 250. But basically, this is full, and I'm sorry if you couldn't add me. Now you'll have to wait till another month, and just, if you have add me, that's really cool. So yeah, I just wanted to show that my friend's book is now full, and I'm not going to remove anybody now. If you want to add me, you'll have to wait till next month, which is, I know is a lot, but I really can't do anything. This is just my rule. So I'm going to start the game. Oh, I'm... Um, Hopefully everybody filled my butter and I'm just, I need more bread. Let me see how many bread do I have. Okay, I need to make more. So I don't have enough wheat. I'm just going to get to the paper to get some wheat, which hopefully I can find. Oh yeah, let's get that. That's, there's only one person selling wheat in the paper. It's crazy. I hate the three times crop event. So, all right. So I'm really lucky and I just got a lot of wheat and that's one coin. Now this is, um, I'm just going to. All right, there we go. Let's get back. And I'm going to make a lot of breads in here, which is cool. So, yeah, I still have 16 minutes left in this event. Now, the good thing about the three times crop event is that you can make a lot of coins by harvesting the crops that are rare. For example, you have to make sure you plant a lot of tomatoes, strawberries, or tea leaves. The crops that are rare, the crops that are expensive, and this way you can get a lot of them and you can tell them to make a lot of coins. This is the only thing that I like about this event. Other than that, this event is really not my favorite. So I have 303 um, tea leaves, which is a lot. So I'm just going to be selling a lot of crops. Honestly, you can make a lot of coins by crops. So just keep harvesting and keep selling. Just keep doing this repeatedly until you play the game. All right, so I'm going to sell a lot of the crops that I have. And there we go. That's a lot of crops and that's a lot of coins that I'm going to be getting. All right. So I was going to do that. Okay. That's it. And just going to harvest my leftover tea leaves in here. There we go. And I'm going to be planning. Let's see what I can plant. The image is going to be over. So that's not a problem. I'm going to go with the crop that I'm really, I'm, so I'm going to plant some sunflowers because I have low of these. All right, I'm just gonna plant all of these. And let's go with the um, garlic. I'm also low on the garlic. And I'm just gonna plant, let's go with beetroot because I'm also kind of low on this. So I don't really have to worry about all the crops because I have a few crops on my BB farm. So yeah, we just got coins, still not diamonds. I don't know what's going on. And my peanuts are taking a longer time. So I'm going to run my sugar mill in here. Let's make a lot of syrup. All right, that's it. So I just need one more bread. And I think the bread's going to get ready in one minute. So I'll have to wait. I'm just going to collect the products that I've been making from my machines. It's a good way to get XP and a good way to make coins as well. The products, the crops, literally everything in the game can give you coins and XP. Just keep playing the game. You'll get all the things eventually. You don't have to worry about it a lot. So I've made a lot of ice creams in here. I'm going to put two of these. Let's just collect some of the goat feed. I have a lot. Oh, that's not the goat feed. It's the cow feed. I'm just going to collect some milk. Really low on milk right now. So I'm having a lot of problems with the milk. Come on, let's just collect all the milk in here. And there we go with the last ones. So my cows are done. Just going to make a lot of butter. Let me have a look. Yeah, I need to make butter and cream. That's it. I don't have any more. I'm also don't having a lot of goat milk. Let's just collect goat milk. And unfortunately, I don't have any feed for the goat. So I'm probably going to make a lot of these in here. All right, guys. So I think my farm work is done. There's some more products. I need to collect the hand pies. And my bread's going to get ready in 20 seconds. I'm just going to wait and I'm going to send my boat away. All right, guys, my bread is here. I'm going to send away my boat. Bye-bye, boat. Ooh, just got a gold voucher and a puzzle piece. Wait, what? Honestly? Like, is there any puzzle even going on? Why am I getting so many puzzle pieces from the boat? That's insane, but that's insane in a good way. I'm glad. 
So that's a pretty simple boat. I just need two vegetables that I can easily do. Another mystery box, which is locked. Alright guys, so the time has come when we finally go into the fishing area and open the mystery nets. Now, mystery nets is something you cannot do daily. It's because they cost you a lot of diamonds. So to make one mystery net, you're going to need five diamonds. And I think they take three hours to be made or 233 minutes on a fully mastered machine. So the diamonds are rare. As you guys know, you cannot easily get them in the game. And when you're a low-level player, you don't really have to make these because you have to spend your diamonds on important things like machines, um, Tom, stuff like that. That's important. The mystery nets are not that important. But if you have enough diamonds or if you're just in the mood or if you have purchased diamonds in the game, then you can start making and collecting them. The good thing about the actual mystery nets is that you can get a lot of cool decorations from them. Um, I don't really know how to... All right, so from here, we can see the probabilities. And these are the, two, I think, three decorations, the old anchor, the old ship's wheel, and the old cannon. So these three decorations are probably the most rare decorations to the game. It's because the chances to get them are so minimum. Like, there's only 0.12 chance of getting any of these decorations. And if you have one of these, I think you're the luckiest farmer, because I still have not. And this is going to be my, I think, third time ever in the game trying mystery nets. I also have mystery nets on my BB farms. So there are a total of 15 mystery nets that I have thrown into the water, which I'm just going to be collecting. I have no idea what I'm going to get. It could be anything except the fish. So the benefit of the mystery nets is that you get a lot of random items except with the fish. With the simple mystery net, you only get fish, I think three fish. But with the mystery net, you can get a lot of items like tools, vouchers, along with the fish, which is cool. So I'm going to get started. Let's start from the mystery net number one. You guys can see there's a star. It's purple colored. And there are some fish that are trapped. So three, two, one. Here we go. All right. So I've got three fish, one wood panel, one TNT. Mm, not bad. That's okay. It's not that good either. All right. Three, two, one. Here we go with the second one. Ooh, just got a saw. And this is the purple lure. I didn't know we get the lures. That's weird, but that's amazing. So I'm just going to collect all of these as well. And there we go with the third round. Ooh, I'm getting diamonds. Um, shovel and a saw and three fish. I think I only got one diamond. You guys saw. This is also a way to get diamonds, but I won't say that it's a good way. It's not a good way because you already spent a lot of diamonds, so it isn't. All right, so I'm getting some ores and shovel and two fish. I don't know why there's an empty space, like there should be another thing as well. So there we go, I'm gonna open this one there. I just got an axe, a pickaxe, and a silver ore, and a fish. That's okay. So here we're getting one pickaxe and three fish, that's not cool either. And we're gonna open here, so we're getting a lot of lures, I got a blue and a green lure, and a shovel, plus two fish, that's cool. And we're gonna come over here, I'm getting syrup and axe. And three fish. And look at those fish. They're really, like, moving like crazy. That's really funny. So we're going to open this one. Ooh, just got a necklace. That seems cool. Necklace, a mallet, and a pickaxe, and one fish. Awesome. And saw axe, the gold lure, and three fish. I'm getting six. That's awesome from here. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, I'm getting this decoration, by the way, you guys. This decoration also calls you diamonds. So I got blue voucher, blackberry jam, and that decoration. So that was a plus point. So I'm getting diamond, saw, and a pickaxe and three fish from here as well. There we go. One diamond from one mystery net. And here I'm getting the blue voucher, the green lure, and wood panel, and TNT, two fish. That's awesome. Mm, that's not cool. I'm getting the, the map piece and the hammer, which I don't really need because my town is already maxed. So from here, I'm getting bold wood panel and a purple lure, which is probably fine because I don't really need a lot of these. So I think that's it. Um, My fishing area is done. And sadly, I didn't get any of these rare decorations. I did get this, the wheelbarrow one. But I didn't get any of these because these are really rare. You have to use the mystery nets a lot of the times if you want to get them. They actually, they're really cool. And let me just, that's crazy. Okay, I just wanted to see 
Oh, wait, what I'm doing? Okay, so there used to be another decoration, I remember. Yeah, the Pearl of the Sea. All right, this is, I think this used to be the very first decoration that you could get from your mystery nets. The other three were added later in the game, but this is the oldest decoration that you could get from your mystery net. So the chances of getting this is 0.62. The chances are a little higher than these decorations, but still it's rare and you cannot easily get them. Like I don't even have a single one of these in my farm. Even after playing four years, I don't have any of these decorations. So probably this is my only low point in the game that I still don't have these decorations. I think that's okay. It's not really compulsory, but I'm trying and I will keep trying in the future to get even more. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to my baby farm and I'm also going to open a bunch of mystery nets there to see what do I get. All right, guys, now I'm on my level 69 farm and I'm going to be opening the only, I think there's only four because I didn't have enough diamonds here. So I'm just going to open these. All right, so I'm getting a lot of gems and uh, wood. That's, that's a mark mistake. One diamond here as well, which is cool. And let's see what do we get from here. A lot of tools and one diamond again and three fish. So you guys saw you get a lot of random things, diamonds, tools, gems, vouchers, lures. So that's a lot of items that you can get from these. So luckily I found two Mr. Nets on my level 53 farm as well. And let's see what do we get. One diamond, land deed, and a shovel. That's cool. And that's um shovel and a pickaxe. And this is the common mystery net. So you do not get anything from this. You only get the fish. So this is like the major difference between the mystery net and the fishing net. And the mystery net unlocks at level um 30. And you're gonna need five diamonds. So if you're a low-level player, if you don't have enough diamonds, do not spend your diamonds on mystery nets. It's a waste. Spend your diamonds on machines and other important things in the game. Alright guys, so that was it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys the mystery nets and what are the chances of getting random items. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more hated videos that I'll be posting. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.